During the government of Porfirio Lobo in 2012 and 2013, $350 million were embezzled from the Social Security Health System, and many of these funds were used for the political campaign of current president Juan Hernández. Like Lobo, he is part of the National Party. The Honduran people are increasingly angry. Finally, the people of Honduras are understanding what citizenship is and what real democracy is. We are using our rights as citizens to protest against a government that hasn't been doing what it should. The National Congress created a special commission to investigate the embezzlement and the funding of the National Party, but the results were lacking. According to information gathered by human rights organizations, around 3,000 Hondurans lost their lives because of the lack of equipment or medicine due to the embezzlement. In the last week, thousands have protested in Honduras, holding torches to remember the victims and demanding Hernández's resignation. They have to tell us who the corrupt people in the National Party are, who the corrupt people in the Social Security, and who are the business people. This has already gone viral. We are against corruption and we are here to demand an international anti-corruption commission. I have my torch for all those people who died because of the robbery of the Social Security. For this weekend, 30 more torch demonstrations are planned in different cities and are expected to register altogether more than 2 million citizens in a country with a total population of 8 million. This citizen movement in Honduras continues to be unstoppable. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.